Well, welcome to the third of our times to worship and of daily prayer. It's really good to have you with us again. If you've been with us for the last couple of days, you'll know the drill. Um, you don't need much. All you need is your Bible. And if you printed off the PDFs, that would be really useful. But it's all going to be up on the screen. Um, so there'll be prompters uh, as we go through. Just one little word to say that tomorrow is Maundy Thursday and we're going to do something just a little bit different tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be a conference call and there'll be an email which you may have already received by now which will have some login in details and I would encourage you to join us on that and, and actually for those who've not been able to be with us online for these past few days maybe give them a call and share with them the details um, so that they can join us on the conference call on what is a really important day in Holy Week as we continue to journey towards the cross. But Maundy Thursday is a time to really reflect on what's going to happen on Good Friday and then the events uh, of that day leading up to the joy that we have on Easter Sunday. So as we gather now, let's just um, spend some time to quietly gather all of our thoughts as we begin our time of prayer together. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O oh Lord. I have said, you are my God. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For by virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. For our psalm today, we are going to use Psalm 143. And the first eight verses on the screen, all the words will be there. I will read the odd numbers and I encourage you to join with me with the even numbers. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul grasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in. For I lift my soul to you, Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair. Help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path. To know you are our refuge, our way, our truth and our life. We say together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. For our reading today, we're going to the first letter to the Corinthians. Chapter 1, and we'll be reading verse 18 and verses 22 to 25. The message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For Jews demand the signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block 
to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those who are called both Jew and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I just invite you now to maybe press the pause button and there'll be some questions up on the screen as there have been for the last few days. Maybe a chance for you to read through the words uh, again and ponder what they mean. What did the passage mean in its context? As we know, Paul wrote this letter to the Corinthians, the church in Corinth, around about 54, 55 AD. And it was to address some concerns that had come through. He'd received a letter about how um, to behave and the proper Christian practical questions, in fact, about the Christian life. And Paul does try to answer those questions and actually flag some warning signs about how to behave and holiness. And this passage that we've read now has some wonderful words for us to ponder as we think about now what does this passage mean for my life, for our life. I love the words Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Just take a moment now just to think about these words. Now we're going to have a short time of prayer and again another opportunity for you to press the pause button and just spend some time praying, being led by the Holy Spirit. What's on your heart today? What do you need to offer up to God? Our prayer focus for today, which you might like to include in those prayers, for our own community here in the Sid Valley, for all those who are self-isolating and those who are struggling to cope with the restrictions that have been imposed. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, our Saviour, give us peace. Amen. <laughs>